Hey guys, this is the Teller TV. I'm here to tell you guys that DSMU 0.9.9 is out and also show you guys how to speed it up considerably a lot better compared to 0.9.8. So yeah, let's go to dsmium.org. Now before downloading anything, I'm just going to tell you guys that there's a new option in uh, DSMU that lets you enable it lets you get much better speed ups than uh, 0 0.9.8 and also there's been tons of work on the OS X port which means that it's more compatible with Mac for, for Mac users and uh, yeah there will be um, better speed ups for that <coughs> for that version too sorry alright so if you have the 32 bit get that one if you have 64 bit win uh, window ah, sorry for that guys if you have 64 bit window you should get this one and finally, with Mac, you know what to do. Okay, if you want to know whether you have a 64-bit or 32-bit, you just got to go to Start, right-click Computer, Properties, and it should say next to System Type. All right, so since I got the 64-bit, let's get that one. I'm just going to wait five seconds now, and I'll get back to you guys. Actually, no, I'm just going to do this now since it's quick. Okay, so guys, if you don't have WinRAR or WinZip or 7-Zip, you're not going to be able to open zip files like this. So I suggest you go to Google and type in uh, WinRAR, go to their website, RARLAB, and don't buy it. It's pretty much a waste of money, in my opinion. So you should... Go to downloads and go to 64 bit or whatever and uh, get the free trial. And it'll activate a 30 day trial which will last forever for somehow. I don't know how that works, but yeah. So once you're done with that, open this. Actually, you know what? Right click it, extract to DSMU 0.9.9, whatever. You can get rid of this now. Alright, so open it, open DSMU. Go to config, frame skip, limit frame rate. Now come back to this, set it on 4. Finally, uncheck auto minimize skipping. Now that's done, you just need to go to emulation settings. Uncheck everything except for use dynamic recompiler. So uh, the value right here, the closer it is to 100, the faster it is, but the graphics won't be as good. And the closer to, uh, the closer to <laughs> sorry guys, the closer to one it is, the more accurate the graphics will be, but the slower it will be. So I suggest you leave it on 100. And if you are noticing bad graphics, which I doubt, you should you know mess around with it and uh, lower it a little bit. So okay, next 3D settings. I suggest you uh, you should leave it on soft rasterizer. Uncheck the first three. Click OK. Next, 3D settings. Oh, that's what we just. That's what we just did. Sound settings. Everything left on default except for interpolation. Set it on none. Fastest sounds bad, but you know what? It actually sounds good for me. So, yeah. If you notice that it sounds bad for you, then you should just leave it on uh, linear. So OK. Next. For more settings, so that's pretty much your settings. So yeah, you can just like whatever your nickname is, if you want to do that. And your message, I don't even know what that does. So yeah, just leave it at that as it is. Like we don't care about that. Mm, microphone settings. If you know what these things are, you should mess with. You could mess around with them, but I suggest you don't do that if you don't know about microphones whatever yeah control config yeah mm. you know what this is your own pref preference like there's nothing that's gonna speed you up with this and if you have a game where you have to like move like diagonally I think you have to check this if it works without it without it you should uncheck it next go to hockey config same thing as controls you can do whatever you want with it and uh, on fast forward here, it's enabled for tab default. 
I think it speeds it up like, you know, like goes like to like twice the speed. If you want to like speed up something or whatever. But yeah, you can try it out. If it doesn't work, don't do it anymore. Same goes for increased speed here. Alright, now nothing else really. Save thingy you should stay on internal. Language, whatever you want. Display method. And everything else on, uh, yeah. Default. And by the way, guys, if your game is too fast, like if you have a beast computer that's like, like too fast, you should check on the. Sorry, you should check limit frame rate here. Uh, leave. I think you should leave this in. And do whatever you want. So 9 is the fastest, 0 is the slowest. So you can mess around with these settings, it's gonna change the thing a little. And finally, if you, it's not speeding up, but if you want to make your screen bigger, you could do this or go to view, window, I mean, window size, and set it on whatever you want. Or finally, you could go press the maximize button, and it's going to do this. It's not fully full screen, but still better than nothing, right? It's like, it's better than having the background or whatever you have in a background running. So, yeah. So guys, I thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and if you want more of this, just subscribe. Thank you.